Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we are going to open up some post. It is Sunday. It is a little bit of a gloomy day. Have a look. Have a look outside. It's really the the weather to to stay inside. Open some magic post. You know, maybe sorting some cards. Maybe doing some brewing. I kind of I really like this. I've got a got a cup of coffee here. You know, early morning stuff. Just gonna take a zip. Hmm. That's good coffee. Um, okay, I'm gonna start because I've got some pretty cool posts. I'm not quite sure what's in these two letters. I have posts from uh, the United Kingdom, Bristol to be uh, exact. And I think this is post sent to me by Mechlotus Alters. I'll put, I'll put the, the Twitter account um, in the text here below so that you can visit it if you're interested in Alters. He makes pretty cool stuff. And I um, he's actually making the price cards for our latest tournament, which is the Reprint Master uh, Masters 2022. It's a tournament where you can only play with cards from revised 4th edition and Chronicles. Of course, you can play with earlier editions of those cards, but it's kind of a way for us to have a look and, and see what decks we can build with just reprints. Oh, this is, it. wow. I think, look, I think it's stuck. You see that? The cardboard is stuck, so I'm just gonna rip this open. And there we see two cards. So these are, I think, the price cards. I'm really looking forward to show them to you. I always have a card for the winner, obviously. Boom. And I also have a price for uh, the deck with the most flavor. Just the coolest deck. And um, I, I think that should always be rewarded. I always want to have a price for, like, the most creative uh, player. Anyway, here we go. Exactly. So this is the... Reprint Masters Spice Price, so on a revised power sink. Oh man, Mac Lotus did such a great job. And he did it all out of love for the game and I guess for the channel, for what we do. He's also a patron of the channel. This is beautiful and I really, really appreciate that he just made these altars for free. I'm sure this, this took a while. Look at those hands, right? The extension. And I always call him the Mustard Man, right? Some people also refer to him as uh, Jackson Pollock, the painter, because he's, again, he's like throwing all the paint. If you look at his work, you'll, you'll know what I mean. But really cool. So this is the reprint price. So originally a Power Sink, as you probably know. Actually a really playable card as well. Power Sink's quite good. What I love so much about Power Sink is that it, your opponent is forced to tap his lands, so sometimes you even have a scenario where you just want your opponent to kind of tap out so you can freely play your stuff. Then even Power Sync can be useful, even if you don't have enough to fully counter the spell. So it's quite good. So Power Sync is here. And then we've got the card for the winner of the Reprint Master 2022. There will also be videos of this tournament on the channel, don't worry. Um, there are also videos of last year's Reprint Masters. I'll, I'll put a link up, an info card, so you can visit that if you're interested. So here, I'm gonna flip it. We see a granite gargoyle. Really cool stuff. And again, you know, visit this Insta, have a look at his altars, they're, they're really good. Just gonna take it out of the sleeve. That granite gargoyle is such a cool card. So two, two flyer for one red and two, and for one red, you can give the plus O, plus zero. And if we look at this altar, of course, the wings have been extended. And I really love how he solved this with the uh, casting cost still keeping it visible. I like that little claw, very subtle, kind of stretching out of the frame, making making the gargoyle kind of come more to life. Very cool. And now we can no longer see the flavor text because, you know, it makes sense. We want to do the reprint master for the prize winner. but. If you don't know the flavor text, take a moment, look up the card, have a look at the flavor text. It is it is pretty cool. Try to pronounce the the name at the bottom. It's a, it's a lot of fun. You probably know what I'm talking about, but if not, have a look. So I'm gonna slide this back here. So thank you very much, Mech Lotus Alters. Amazing man. I really, really, really appreciate it that you did this for us and for the community. These cards are gonna go to, of course, the uh, Spice Price and the, uh, the flavor winner, definitely. Uh, let me put them here, and then we're going to, whoop, don't fall. Then we're going to start, uh, Start. we'll actually look at the second envelope. So this is an envelope from the States. I'm not 100% sure what's in here, but I'm super curious, so yeah, join me. 
Let's have a look. Oh, I don't wanna, you know what? If I flip it, I show all the addresses. So just give me a second to kind of put something over that so I can flip it properly. And we are back. So look what I did. I just ripped it off. I ripped the whole thing off. <laughs> that was the easiest way. Anyway, uh, let's see if I can open it here. Wow. Yeah, there we go. That is some firm cardboard. Okay. And we've got a letter, which I always appreciate. Always checking if there's nothing left. Nope, it's completely empty. And uh, let me check the letter for a uh, possible address or some private details I don't want to show. Look at this cool stuff, man. Handwritten letter. I love it. Dear Timmy, I used to play magic when I was a kid. As I got older and had a family, it faded away for 20 plus years. About a year ago, I found your channel. I was laid off work and was dealing with anxiety and depression. The pandemic hit me and was the pandemic hit me pretty hard. My health wasn't the best either. I started walking every day and listened to your videos. Uh, listen to your new videos told while hiking. Cool, man. I've gotten healthier. Plus, uh, started playing music again. Oh, sorry. Started playing magic again. Of course. Sorry, guys. Uh, your enthusiasm about the game got my mind off of things and got me excited to play again. I mean, I'm just so happy to read this because that is one of the main reasons why I started Timmy Talks was to show, like, do you remember what it was like to play with these old cards? Like, do you remember that feeling? And, you know, this is a format, old school is, is a community where you can get that feeling back, you know, it's, it's pretty special. While trading with someone, he had this alpha card that made me think of you. You will use it and enjoy it more than me. Thanks, Otis. Wait a minute, Otis, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're saying you're sending me an alpha card? That is insane, that is insane. I will, that is insane. Okay, I'll all have a look. Now I'm curious, that, that's crazy. I am really happy to read that you're doing better, that my videos help, but you don't need to send me an alpha card. That is crazy. Um, that's, okay, let's open it up. I'm a bit flabbergasted, but here we go. I think, Otis, we had some contact on Discord, if I'm not mistaken. Um, because we have, by the way, a Timmy Talks Discord. So if you want to support the channel uh, with, uh, by, for example, becoming a member on Patreon, you also get access to the Discord. Oh, my man, of course, an Alpha Timmy. Oh, my man, that is so cool. This is going to go, this is going to go in my deck ASAP, man. I need to make a little mark, well, not on the card, obviously, but that it is from you when I'm playing it. Wow, that is that is crazy. I'm gonna try to take it out of the sleeve, but man, that is, that's amazing, Otis, that you just send me an alpha card, an alpha Tim, that is, wow. Let's see if I can get the tape off. Give me a moment here. Okay, so here we're back again. I needed some time to get this off. I'm, I'm the worst at it. I'm the worst at this. If you follow my mail days regularly, you know I'm really bad at, you know, opening, opening post. This looks, Otis, this looks like this Tim is in a pretty good condition, actually. Maybe you can let me know, Otis, what kind of deck are you per currently working on? Because I would love to send you maybe a card deck that you can use in your deck. Um, I'll actually, I'll send you a message on, on Discord. And maybe, maybe I have a card for you or a couple of cards I can send back your way. Here we go. I'm just going to take it out of the sleeve. I want to see the whole thing, the pretty thing. Gorgeous. Beautiful, pretty good condition. It's just crazy, like an alpha card, it's always crazy to hold it in your hands if you imagine, you know, this is the first ever, this is this is the start of magic right here. This is the history of magic, right? These cards are so old. There was a time in magic's history where you weren't allowed to play with alpha in tournaments. This was the time when you still played sleeveless uh, because obviously by the corners, you could see if it was alpha. So in those days, beta actually was worth more than the alpha cards. Pretty crazy, right? Man, but this is this this copy is in a really good condition, especially if you consider this is an alpha card. Otis, 
Thank you so much. Mac Lotus Alters, Alters, thank you so much. I feel really, you know, lucky and privileged to have such great members in the Timmy Talks community. Thank you so much. And also thank you for watching another video right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And I see you next time. Ik het als fikker te samba gezien.